everyone, welcome. This is Sahara playing Pillars of Eternity, the White March, and we are upstairs of the inn, uh, Dracuna, Dracogen, whatever inn, looking for that Orland woman that um, killed the women, uh, killed some children. This painting portrays the expansive foothills below the mountains of White March. Oh, there she is. There. Okay, I see her. I see something. Look at this. And that is a staff. Hmm. They said that there was a guildmaster staff was buried under the floorboards. Hmm. Okay. The glass on this window was broken. Worked knotted planks have been nailed over it. Well, that's not very nice. Uh, let's see. This is a book of the many faces of Barath. Uh, the moons of Eora. I have a feeling these are going to be, yep, souls. You see a man, eyes tight on a couple down a cobblestone road. He moves a little too obviously, a little too naturally. Naturally, and his eyes never leave her messed curls as he shadows them from building to building. The woman laughs drunkenly, hand in hand entwined within another belonging to a sharp nosed noble, flawless doublet, slightly too small for his generous frame. She brushes against him as they move, clearly far too intimate for her shadow's liking. His eyes narrow to angry slits as the couple slips into an opulent doorway, and the nobleman's hands slips down her dress. Her breath shortens into gasp and she leans into him further moaning the spectator pauses mouth pressed shut veins bulging he slides along the wall dagger in hand and just as the woman bites into the nobleman's doublet he steps out it's over in moments he closes his eyes dagger slipping from his blood slicked hand and bolts so did he kill them both or just the one hmm okay you see a tall figure pacing the edges of the carpet corner to corner, fingers twitching in irritation. The sound of battle grow ever closer, snaking its way through caves and corridors, past doors and soldiers, and the mage paces, throwing his door open. Throwing his door open, he strides through the refurbished cave, taking scrolls from shelves and demanding potions from terrified grunts, kicking a fallen chair from his path he returns to his room pacing readying himself as the enemy grows closer and closer he begins casting spell after spell defenses additional bigger traps just as his skin hardens into metal they stride in swords flying and arrows buzzing last chance to rethink this he says an arrow whistles by his head in answer he sighs and his lips thin with effort as he begins his onslaught there are six of them, but soon there are four, and three, and one. For the last, he takes a dagger to be sure, throwing it di direct. For the last, he takes a dagger to be sure, throwing it directly into the Orleans Temple. The man topples. None get back up. The mage barks into the hallway, receiving naught but silence in response. Frustrated, he begins to dispose of the bodies. The last person standing. Hmm. Okay. And another door over here. Time to see and not be seen. Why not? There! Done! I will take this money since there's nobody here. This won't stop me for long. Yeah, I'll take the money. Sorry, guys. I am a rogue after all. Okay. The Orlin hovers by, okay, Nifri. The Olin hovers by the window, peering out of it every few seconds. As you enter the room, she watches you carefully, her hand hovering over her stilato. She, cr she cranes her head to peer behind you. Anyone follow your, anyone follow you? Who sent you? Someone told me you're responsible for heinous killings in Defiance Bay. What are you talking about? The man leaning against the wall glances out the door and nods to the other, to the Orlin. 
The hand over her weapon relaxes, but she's still watching you closely. Some old friends from Defiance Bay are looking for me. We're not exactly friends anymore, if you catch my drift. I'm just trying to lie low and mind my own business, know what I mean? Boss. And Amana looks at the Orlin and jerks his head at you. All right, all right. She raises a hand to the Omana before turning back to you. My friend here thinks you could maybe help us out. No, I'm sure you're a busy woman, so I'll make it worth your time. She flips you a few coins. Just go take a look around town. Come back and let me know if the coast is clear or if you see any suspicious figures. Um, you're pretty suspicious. What's this about? Someone told me you were responsible for heinous killings in Defiance Bay. Yeah, mm-hmm. Knights of the Crucible positive. Let me guess. Was that someone named Murdeth? Medrith? He, she draws her stilato. You're a big shot with the Crucible Knights. If I'd gone on some kind of rampage, don't you think you'd have heard about it? She shakes her head. I got on the wrong side of the employers, of his employers, and now he's after me. But if you're here to do his dirty work, I won't make it easy on you. Relax, I just want to hear your side of the story. What story? The doom... The the Dunamals came after me. I just happened to rob the wrong place. How was I supposed to know they'd already claimed it? She runs her hands over her hood and through her hair. It was an honest mistake. I'm just trying to survive now. And if you spoke with Medrith, you know where he's waiting. Please help me get out of here. Mm. Well, so here again, I can have another chance to side with them and get on the good graces, but do I really want to? No. No, no. No, I'm going to be honest. Go east. Madras waiting for you just west of the river. She nods slowly. All right, I'm trusting you. Don't have much choice. See if you can send him the other way. That should buy me some more time. She follows the hooded figures toward the stairs, giving you a final uncertain glance as she passes through the door. I only got 288 experience for that, so obviously it was the wrong way. Mm-hmm. But I didn't want to. Oh, cat and mouse. Oh, I get to keep this one. Um... Rise to power. And you left money there behind you. Okay. So I need to talk to people to see where Lady Elise is at. And... Um... Good day to you. Tell me about Lord Harmon's daughter. He frowns and shrugs. His lordship says she's up. She says she up and went missing the other day. He wipes a tinkered with his ragged towel, twisting it with swift jerking motions. I don't know any more than that. However, these lording bastards handle their affairs ain't no business of mine. Perhaps you can make it your business. You look agitated. Something about this doesn't sit right with you, does it? Yeah. He slams the clean tanker down on the bar. Damn right it don't. That Lord Saunders in here like he's out from... He's cut from cleaner cloth than the rest of us, and yet... He shakes his head. Look, I don't want no trouble from you or him or anybody else. I'm just waiting for him to tire of my ale and leave so things can go back to normal around here. Stand by and allow an innocent girl to come to harm. Help me find her. So much for your talk of decency. If you know something but say nothing, you're just as guilty. Hmm. People know me from my integrity, Dangler. I swear I'll see this situation to rights. He leans on his bar and sighs. That girl, Elise, she was looking to disappear. You should have seen her watching the door like a sheep at slaughter. All the same, she didn't hardly speak to no one. Only folk I seen her talk to, to his tigro, thigel, thai whatever. He nods at the east window. His shop's by the broken tower. Bit of a hothead, that one. My advice is to let the 
matter drop. Like I say, it don't pop it to dig around in other people's business. I understand, thanks. Okay. I figured that. Search her for a friend to explain that Haley should become acquainted with them in the local courier. Yep, she's up there in that tower. Mm-hmm. I am pretty sure of it. Um, how do we get out here? How do we get out here? There we are. We're right there. Okay. So we need to go get Medrith. Talk to him. Go talk to Medrith. Tell him that uh, he's up here. Come on, move, move, move. Where he was anyway, here he is. Save. Okay, so here he is. Hello. He picks at a long blade of glass. Found Nefer yet? I'm ready to get out of here. She snuck out the back of the inn and went north. He squints at you, pulling the, the grass into two flimsy threads. Did she now? And how would you have known that? I was just hoping you'd believe me. Medrith draws his blade. Don't worry, I'll catch up to her right after I take care of you. Ha <laughs> moderate negative. Yeah, I figured. Yeah, I figured. Cat and mouse. Cat and mouse. Um, I just happen to be right here, so I'm attacking you. You. Hey. Okay. Okay, what do you have? Oh, you. Um. You have soul ignition. on him. Why aren't you shooting? My mind feels sharper too. Are we done? You're done. All right. Be seen. I don't think I need that on right now, but we need to go to, we need to, okay, so we need to go to where the pigs were at. Um, pigs were over here, weren't they? I guess I didn't see anybody. Pigs were over here, right? Here they are. Okay, they're over here. So where's Oh, there he is. Okay. Rumbolt. A man paces angrily in front of your wrecked animal pen. His sun-weathered face twisted with ire. He's so wrapped up in his fury that he doesn't seem to notice you. Galloway's slobbering beast. Blazing bloody effigy. Twice damned salty wrench and her soggy. Um, watch where you're going, you raging fool. That's probably not the best way to pray to the gods. Look! <laughs> um... What's wrong? That monster stole my pigs, traipsed into the village, tore down my pen, and made off with the whole damn hill. Heard. Just left a few little runs, and what am I supposed to do with them? Calm down and tell me what happened? At least you're still in one piece. That's something to be thankful for. I've had about enough of you, farmer. Oh, God. Uh, calm down and tell me what happened. He bites his lip and closes his eyes. His nostrils flare with each quick, angry breath. Wife's always telling me to mind my temper. Just breathe deep and count to ten, he sighs. An ogre moved into the area not long ago. Folk had been seeing glimpses and tracks out in the wood, but it seemed to be staying away from town, or so we all thought, until it made off with my pigs. Now everyone's afraid it's going to develop a taste for a kith, if it hasn't already. Hmm. 
Miss Weiner and I are long gone. It's best you move on. Did you see the ogre take your pigs? What else would have destroyed my pin and made off with my herd? And at the same time, the rest of the village has seen a ten-foot monster in the forest. I know it's too late to get my pigs back, but it set my mind at ease to see that thing's head shot, shorn from its, from its neck. In fact, you bring its ugly pay to me and I'll trade you for something that's at least that's of less use to a farmer like me than to a rowdy looking sort like yourself. Really? Um... Enough about the ogre already. I'm looking for a young... Yeah, what do you know about the ogre? It's the same as any other, I'm sure. A big ugly son of a bitch with a nasty temper and an appetite to match. Tigrin could tell you more. He, cl he claims to have seen it in the wood. You can find him in his shop right by the broken tower. Need something else? Yeah, uh, have you seen any signs of Elise? His hands curl into knobby fists. How many times do I have to repeat myself? I already told those snobbing, those snooping guards I haven't seen her, but that hasn't kept him from nosing around my property. Sure. So I got a farmer's plight. Do I really want to? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I really want to talk to you because you're just mean. You're mean. Okay, so we need to go over here. I'm sure she's I'm sure she's inside. <clears throat> she's inside the tower. She be inside the tower. Let's talk to you. Uh, something else you need. What? Um, Brumbold mentioned something about an ogre. He's hardly talked about anything else since those pigs of his went missing. The whole town's been worried about that monster. People are starting to see shapes in their windows at night, hearing this growling and snoring of their mates. I, it would put a lot of minds at ease if someone got rid of it. He scrapes that red pigment under his fingernails. I sometimes venture into the wilderness, collecting ingredients from my dyes, mind you. I've seen tracks east of here, near the river that couldn't have been anything else. Hmm. So what can you tell me about Elise? He shrugs. Only that her father's men have been banging down doors and stirring up trouble looking for her. I never met her myself. That's strange. Dangler told me you two were acquainted. He watches you and smiles slowly. He doesn't miss much. What exactly did he tell you? He said she was looking for an escape. Her father's dragged her out of here to get hitched to some backwoods noble. She wanted an escape, all right, and I was happy to give it to her. We snuck across the river a few nights ago for some private time. Come to find out, we weren't exactly alone. An ogre, taller than Wimmure's tells, sprang out of the forest, and we were so lost in the heat of the moment, we didn't notice it until it was upon us. I gra it grabbed Elise and disappeared into the night before I could even pull my britchers up. Ha! Ah! <sighs> okay. Don't take this the wrong way, but this shop smells like an outhouse. Am I really to believe that a lord's daughter snuck into the woods with you? Hmm. Yeah, let's do that. Curb that clever tongue of yours. I'm afraid there's no right way to take this stranger. Curb that clever tongue of yours. I'm afraid there's no right way to take that stranger. <laughs> I meant no offense, I'm just trying to find her. As I was saying, the ogre vanished with her. It probably took her to his lair, wherever that is. He measures you with his gaze. She could still be alive. I'm no shape to go after her, but that Herman looks like he'd have coppers to spare for anyone who found her. He scratches his cheek with fingers stained it red and yellow. Others around here have seen the ogre east of town. Took most of rum... rum Rambold's pigs just the other day. If someone were to find it, there'd be a lot of grateful people in Deerwood. Deerford. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Near the Bill River east of... Yeah, which is where I have to go anyway. Blood Legacy. Who claims that the ogre took at least somewhere near the Bear River east? Okay, <clears throat> so should I go back to the inn and tell him? 
before I head on out. Before I head on out east. Excuse me. <clears throat> Which I told you should. <clears throat> There's no way she was she was sleeping with him. He's he's nasty. Nasty. <clears throat> Yes. Have you news of Alice? Um, no, nope. it's not gonna let me. No, nope. it's not gonna let me update anything. So we're just gonna leave. Go east. Which I have to go up that road anyway. Because there's ruins over there. So there might be more. Um... Eh? Gun. Who are you? That looks so real. I just love the graphics in this game. Who are you? Yeah, that's what I thought. You see a black clad figure bent low and moving slowly through a field. The figure holds a gleaming blade in his hand, keeping it hidden from his behind his back. He approaches another man who is crouched over actions hidden by a large bush he has crawled halfway under. The figure stops moving as the man comes out from under the bush. You see that it is this man holding a handful of berries. He has retreated from a smaller bush that lies hidden in the overgrowth that surrounds it. He crawls back under the large brush, his arms moving again as he picks the berries. The figure begins moving again, slinking toward the man. He does not stop picking, but you see his head tilt very slightly to the side. He continues to work at the bush until the figure is almost out of on him. He backs out hands full and places the berries in the basket. Then he crouches before the basket, sorting the berries, removing leaves and any berry that doesn't look perfect. The figure comes up behind the man and raises the blade to strike. The man suddenly rocks back on his feet, spinning around to face the figure behind him. He grabs the figure's wrist and falls onto his back, planting the leg in the in the center of the figure's chest. The figure flies over the man and lands on his back in the dirt. That's a Tobinagi. Tobinaga, I think is what it's called. I used to do judo. Um, the figure flies over the man and lands on his back in the dirt. The man is straddling the figure in an instant, his hand snapping out, hitting several points around the head and neck. The figure immediately falls unconscious. The man stands and retrieves the basket collecting the berries and placing them back where they belong. Then he returns to picking. Then he returns, so he's, um, he must be like a monk or something doing martial arts. Oh, there's something going on here. Um, library construction completed. Alrighty. So the library is done. Um... We need to, I thought I could have swore I did the best curtain wall. I know I did. Let's go ahead and do it again. All right, so this should take us to. All right, so this is the ruins, but we have to go to Dufred. Deer Ford Crossing first. That is where the ogre is at, and um, Elise, supposedly. I think something else? Okay. Just wander around till we find stuff. Ooh, we found something a wood beetle. That open that up? No, it does not. That's it. <laughs> oh, those are pretty, aren't they? Not to <laughs> oh, she did something because I could hear her jingling. Oh, you're almost dead. Oh, 
she's whispering. So what do we get? Dark spores. Hmm. Sure. Okay. Anything up here? No. Oh, those trees just look so real. Got a deer. You'd think if there was an ogre living here, those deers would be all dead, right? Hi, deer. Does this take us over there? Yep, that took us over there. Okay. Over to the ruins. Butterflies everywhere. Okay. Oh, we can come across this way. Um, got more stone beetles. Couple of and the priests. All right. And what can you do? You can do amplified thrust, bonuses, psychic energy. Armless off the target and onto the closest nearby enemy, causing pierce damage. Okay. Where am I at? What is this? That's you. Job. What'd you say? Things not doing a good job? Um, Serene Seal. What? You can trust me. Can I really, Durance? Light, flame, and Can sound. I really, Durance, trust you? you? Mm -hmm. You stand within what looks to be a ruined shrine. The moss-covered remnant of an ancient statue lies before you. Only the broken legs and feet of the sculpture remain. Long grooves alongside it suggest that it could be moved. Near the base of the statue, discover a skull carved into the stone. Push the statue. The pedestal appears to be several hundred pounds of solid stone. You consider who would be best to push it. attempt to push the pedestal. Um, examine the skull. The skull is carved into the stone in intricate relief, its mouth a gap. Appearing closely, you notice a rusty keyhole between its jaws. Pick the lock. After several attempts, you realize the rusted lock is beyond the skill of both you and your companions. How about if we use a hammer and chisel? You chip away at the base of the statue. By the time your arms are numb from the ringing hammer blows, you scratched out a hole just wide enough to fit three fingers. Air whistles through the gap, but whatever's on the other side, you won't be able to dig your way through it. You have lost an item. Hammering excusal. Okay, so let's wedge your pry bar under the statue to move it. You place 
to the pry barn of the hole. You chiseled, leaning onto it with all your weight. You feel the statue slide and grind along the grooves. You, the displaced pedestal reveals a dark passage descending into the earth. There are beasts here. They are animals in human form. Animals in human form. Hmm. Okay, so this is called Broken Statue. Aren't these the runes that we were supposed to mess with, right? <laughs> eh? We will come no back problem. to this. Harleen Payday. Payday. Total wages paid, 450. Okay. So this is kind of like on a little island here by itself, it looks like. Yep, it is. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Pause, enemy spotted. That's another wood beetle. Let's go! Oh! A lot of them. <laughs> Got it. Okay. And beetle shell. We got a beetle shell. Got it. Okay, so there is only one way to go. Up, down. I don't think you'd go any way over here. You can come up here. Ooh, some more ruins. on this side. Nope. Um, we have a wolf. Let, let's go! Got a couple oh. wolves. Shut on. Whole bunch of wolfies here. Okay. How may I help? Okay. You can do um flame shield. to leak energy. Okay. You're not doing too good there, bud. Around. 
And there was something up here. We got a dagger and golden bell. Oh. Just money. Okay, so where are we going? So this is the broken statue, so this is pretty much it. be down here somewhere. It's, it's got to come up around over this way. Better save. Another deer. Alright, this lead to anything? Doesn't lead to any of this. Hmm. I don't know how we open these up. This is up here to this, which we were already at. Here. And we got a Widowmaker Spider. <laughs> you come up here and fight this one. I love the way they jump in the air when they die. Spider venom. No problem. Quickly and quietly. Well, I see a body up there. How do we get up there? This is all new? Yep, this is all new. Okay, so see a body there. Is that how we get in there? Um we got dead dragon leans here. Oh, this is where we come to get the work get the nest, we get the eggs. I think this is where we kind of get the eggs. Um, national shift, confusion. No, they're gonna come at us. Let's wait till they come at us. How may I help? Okay, maybe they're not gonna come at us. Could just go up there and attack. You attack. You attack. Hey. I think the problem is. Hi. I thought he was done. Guess not. 
Alrighty. Sorry, killing all your little buddies. My eyes are peeled. And we got a body up here. Cheese. Sure. Okay, who is this? Sivas. A man turns to face you, whip, wiping blood from his stalk. His knit brows betray a moment of confusion, but as he watches you, a slow, confident smile creeps over his face. The iron brand does not meet many travelers this far from the road. What would they, what would they be doing out here? Ralph, an elven man, cocks his head at the other, probably after that dragon egg, same as us, boss. A dwarf chews and spits into the grass. It's a rhetorical question, you dimwit. He tightens his grip on his sword. Everyone knows the roads between the villages are crawling with brigands. They're obviously bandits, same as us. Hmm. It's a good thing there's a giant egg nearby. Nothing stirs up my avatar like looking like light looting corpses. Surely we can divide the spoils. Hmm. What would you want? Why would you want a dragon egg? He laughs. To sell it, of course. If I wanted to eat it, I would have grabbed some pigs from that farm in Deerwood, too. Ah. What do you know about dragon eggs? He shrugs. They are round and large, and they come from dragons and drakes. What else is there to know? Plenty, which is why you shouldn't go disturbing their nests. He grins. I appreciate the warning, but I think I'll take my chances. It's a good thing there's a giant egg nearby. Nothing stirs up my appetite like looting corpses. Hmm. Yeah. Like looting corpses. That doesn't sound good for us. He begins to bark. He begins to back away. For once, Ralph, I think you've got the right idea. So you guys leave? Okay. Where are you cowards going? He watches Ralph and Norger flee with mounting dismay. He looks back at you. First things first. So you're gonna fight us, hmm? Awesome. Alright. You're gonna come up here and attack him. You're gonna attack him too. And you too. There we go. All right. Yeah. Uh, we got Grimoire. Iron Found. Is there anything that he hasn't learned? No, it doesn't look like it. So it's just gonna go in the loot. Fine robe. Sure. Uh, nothing here. That's a two handed. Hmm. So I assume this is where the summer nut in here is where the Oh, is this it? Uh the dragon thing. I found the abandoned post roost perched atop a cliff in the northeast area of Deer Forest. It looks like a difficult climb. I may want to check my supplies before I attempt it. Yep, the cliff faces a blackened and melted like the cliff faces blackened and melted like a candle wax. There is a small outcropping uh, overhead with what appears to be a crude nest. It looks like a challenging crime. Curl like a wrapping hook onto their outcropping. You toss the grappling hook over the ledge, holding the attached rope with one hand. The hook lands with a satisfying clank and you secure the line with a thin firm tug. 
You take another look at the cliff. There are there may only be space for one person at the top. Climb it yourself. Now let's put Eater up there. The, top, the rope makes for a quick ascent. Eater climbs to the nest in the cliff with ease. The nest is surrounded by a by glowing embers. Twigs and bones litter the area. An egg the size of a small keg is nestled among the detritus and looks heavy and awkward to carry. Take the egg and climb down the cliff. Eater tucks the egg under an arm and climbs down the rope to safety. Constitution 16. Yep, that's why I used him. Cool. Got the egg down the cliff without a scratch. And you should be able to get a lot of use out of it. Cool. All right. So now we need to go find out where that, um... We got more worms. And let's see here. Go after this one. That's so good. Okay, what do you have? Um, Syrian Seal. Triumph of the Crusaders impacts all allies to favor of righteousness in battle. When an ally in their area of effect delivers a killing blow, he or Fighting, come on. Yeah. There you go. Time to see and not be seen. Uh, there's one up here. We got this over here. No problem. Somewhere in here. Somewhere is how he's supposed to get to her. Um, nothing new. The forest. Oh, got him. Oh, a couple of them. That. Um, who is that? Um, you're going to do can't do that anymore. I like that one. Moon, but there is you don't have any moon. Cool, look at them all. Okay. Um I think we better do circular protection. You can do um, soul ignition. <laughs> yeah, you need to rest for this stuff to go into effect. Doing good. 
let's do... Second win for you. Alright, where am I at? Um... Me? Yep. Okay, we're losing people here. Um, she's got Mind Wave. Target becomes the object of a concussive blast of psychic energy, shattering something raw damage. Can't you heal your puppy? Second win for you. We can do this. All right. Um, who is the most injured? Valley injured. Stick this thing out. isn't doing the job. It's not. Siphon, Bushy Moon. Ah, thank good and rough. Come on, we can do this. He's dead. We only got one left. One left. We can do it. to heal camp. Um. So grieving mother, you feel the presence hovering nearby. When you turn, you see the grieving mother observing you. Concern it crickles the corners of her eyes and seeps into your mind. You are a call of your own watcher. I see you shrouded by old lives and unanswered questions. Yes, I felt them more and more of late. This is why we journey together. That one may draw strength from many, and that much may be mended by the purpose of one. As she peers at you, her brow seems creased with a new kind of anxiety. Your obscure past, does it trouble you? Yes, I don't know what's in there, and that troubles me. Yep. Take care, Watcher. Do not let the unknown chapters of your soul thwart your present endeavors. You must fortify your mind and find clarity in your purpose. She retreats from you, fading into the background. If you did not already know she was here, you suspect you wouldn't notice her at all. Hmm. Okay. So I'm hoping this is her. Otherwise, time to see and not be seen. Nope, it's just a corpse. Boots of the Long March. Athletics? Ooh. Plus Max. Well, um, yeah, I don't think I've got boots, do I? Let's see here. Oh, 
I have a troll hide belt. Where'd that come from? An endurance every three seconds. I don't have a belt. Uh, where'd the boots go? They went to her. <clears throat> I have constitution. Oh, okay. I think. Give myself the boots. What do you have for boots there, Eater? You don't have any. over here. Hmm. Unless she's down in the... Yeah, we still have to go down in here, don't we? Hmm. Let me see here. Because they said she was here. Um... Missing... Sentries, um, no, I know where that's at. Cat and mouse, the blade and the endless path, we're doing all that. A farmer's plight, where the uh, whereabouts of the ogre stopped in front of, most likely resides near the Bear River, east of the Vale River. Okay. Blood Legacy. The Bear River East. Isn't that where I'm at? Is the Bear River? Oh, there is another body there. Okay. So there is another body here. I knew there was one. I thought I could get to her from the other side, but that looks like a woman. So these weren't the ogres. Okay, I see, here we go. Oh, definitely ogre, definitely ogre here. Mm-hmm. Ogre's deal. Yeah, I am gonna leave this for the next episode. When we come back, we're gonna go into this cave. Yeah, leave its mark now. It says Grizzly Cave. We still have to do this broken sh statue thing, too. Mm-hmm. So if you're enjoying, click like, leave a comment, subscribe, and thank you so much for watching. Sahara out.